Yeah, right, that's fine. Uh, hello, Future Island. Today is the final day of September, which means that I get to shift like a hundred gigabytes of video footage off from my main laptop off to my backup drive because I quite simply, I can't deal with how much footage I've been making. Like it's about a hundred gigabytes of data every single month. Uh, and I'm only a quarter halfway, I don't know, depending on how you want to view the timeline, uh, through this project as a whole. So, I mean, the way the things are turning out, I'm definitely going to be having, like, two and a half terabytes of footage, so, uh, yikes. Uh, but I mean, I'm not even that worried about, like, losing footage because I edit stuff and then upload it basically directly to YouTube anyway, so, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's... I haven't actually figured out how, how things are going to work, because, like, I usually uh, finish up around, like, 1am, that's when I'm, I get my video editing done and over with, but then I schedule it to be published a year from now at exactly 8pm. But for you, it's slightly different, because uh, you have to upload it and publish it instantly, so that's going to be... how How does that work? Uh, ooh, I'm not looking forward to having to figure out how this system works, but either way, um, Past Being Future Being is back, recently, uh, the, the whole thing that started this project, and it's, uh, it's interesting, because, like, from the way that I know of it, uh, no one else except for Bing in 2010 slash, no, 2011 slash 12, no one else has ever done this fully for two straight years. Dunno, it's a weird thought that maybe I'm the only other person who will have done this, because, like, it, it's definitely a lot. It is a, it is a lot of work. And my uni is a lot of work. There's a lot of things that are a lot of work. Oh, God, let me tell, let me tell you about uni today. So, uh, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the things are in a hybrid setup, so like some things are on campus, some things are at home. And we have like two four-hour project sessions each week, because that's one of the great things about my university, is it's, it's very hands-on. And like we actually do projects. Um, and I'm in a group of people, and so one day a week we're in person, and the other day we're all online. Now, what happens when we're online is we use Microsoft Teams, which I, I hope isn't still a thing, uh, but we use that a lot. What we do is like we split up into different groups and whoever works on what does that. I work best when I'm by myself, which is not even slightly a secret. Like that's just how I am. I'm not a people person. I work so much better when there's no one around. It's just... <sighs> I'm not good with people. <laughs> I, I prefer to be independent, and that's part of the reason that I, I have such a fucked up sleep schedule, because inherently, by having a different set of sleeping regiments from the rest of the populace, I'm inherently different in my setup, so the way that I interact with people is different. So I'm not awake when everyone else is getting awake, and I stay up well into the night. So like, you know, no one else is around to talk to me. And that's kind of good because I'm a very, like, I keep to myself, it's what I do best. It's, uh, occasionally it gets lonely, um, but you know, for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this thing. But anyway, I'm rambling a bit too much. Uh, today I was, ha I was talking to the TA, the teaching assistant, and he was saying like, yeah, uh, you gotta be part of different group calls, you, like, you gotta stay on the line the whole time, because... <sighs> Apparently I'll get a, I'll get a low grade if I, uh, keep working by myself, because that's not good for the group. And it sucks, because, like, I don't want to talk to people. <laughs> Yeah, so that, that that really extinguished my enthusiasm for the group group call. Because, like, when I'm in person, like, the in-person sessions, I am so much less productive. Because, again, I work on my own terms, but when I'm on campus, I'm not on my own terms, now am I? So that's a little bit fucked and a little bit sad. Um, yeah, whoa. 
I, I was looking at um, exchange programs in passing recently. Are you on an exchange? Because you're like me a year from now. And the exchange program is a little less than a year from now because it's September 2022. That's when that kicks off. Are you in Japan? <laughs> I uh, I kind of want to go to Japan, but like apparently courses are all taught in Japanese. They used to have an English course, but that's gone. So rip. Um, yeah. What's the story? What's your education system like? Is any of it still online or is it all just perfectly in person? I don't know. I... I've been quite distracted and, and I've seldom had the motivation to work on academic stuff because I've, again, as I keep saying, I'm getting really into, like, stuff. Like, I, I'm, I'm getting distracted and enthusiastic about things that I find fun, but that's seldom, you know, studying aerodynamics, which is unfortunate because aerodynamics is a difficult subject. Anyway, this is a, a small, short way of um, leading into this. Remember this little minifigure thing? That's just not focusing now, is it? There we go. Remember this little boy? I painted him. Look at him. Look, look, look at the boy. Look at the boy. Yeah. This is uh, this is my D and D figure for my current campaign. Uh, yeah, that's all. I. It's not very well painted, but that's my character. Uh, that's. Yeah. I find it cool. Anyway, I will stop rambling, and I will see you next month.